Fish 03. Now I haven't seen you guys for a while but there's been a lot going on. Uh, we've had my laptop full so I've had to kind of like find the money to get a new external hard drive, clear that up. Moved over 363 gig of data off my laptop so I can do videos again. <coughs> Uh, also, in the time that I haven't seen you all, or you haven't seen me, um, we've had new tanks, we've sold old tanks, we've sold some of the new tanks. So, basically, the uh, silver tank that we did have in the man cave, that has gone. The um, four foot uh, cichlid tank that I had in the man cave, that's gone. Uh, I did have a new breeding tank which is currently set up at the moment and uh, I've got a couple of uh, my cribs in there which are my breeding cribs the reason they're in there is because I'll show some footage as I go along in the video obviously but they did have uh, about two big batches of fry in the tetra tank I lost three Harley Quinns because they were chasing them off and stressed them out and killed them um, else then I put the divider in and somehow the fry still didn't make it I think the uh, the cribs might have hit, eaten them all or they've just died off and they've been eaten I don't know but there was got to be well over 100 150 of them then by the time I took the cribs out and thought right I'll move them upstairs there was about five fry left and they didn't survive either so that's what about six, seven batches they've had now and they still haven't had any survivors. The one survivor I did have that I put in the tank with Mickey, he didn't make it. Uh, Mickey hasn't survived, unfortunately he passed away. I don't know what happened there. Um, what else has changed? I've also had um, a tank so I've got, that goldfish tank for the kids, but it's only 100 litres. My mate went to get rid of his goldfish by putting them in the pond. I says, no, they'll die, I'll have them. So I had them off him. So then that meant I had six goldfish in a 100 litre tank. Okay, they're only small, but obviously I need to get a bigger tank for them. They're all right while they grow, but we're still looking for a house. We've come close a couple of times, but obviously things have prevented us from being able to accept anything yet. So we're still on the hunt. Obviously, I've already said before, when we do get the new place, I'll be having a pond for them anyway. Uh, what else is that? So yeah, because of getting a bigger tank, I went on Spark, I think it was, or Facebook, and I saw uh, what was supposed to be a three foot tank, 120 odd litres, uh, with a stand, etc. £100 or nearest stuff. I managed to get it for 30 quid. Can't complain. So I'd done a 70 mile round trip, it was a 2 foot 8 tank, it still worked out at 100 litres. So then that £30 tank, I had about 12 extra fish in it. There was a massive pleck, just about a foot long, if not shorter. That's now in the Tetra tank. There was a couple of black skirt Tetras, which are now in the Tetra tank. Uh, there was a silver tip Tetra, an albino Danio, um, a couple of golden barbs which have all gone into the barb tank uh, there was a five inch blue grame a five or six inch uh, rainbow shark they've gone into the breeding tank for now um, I've got somebody who I, I really trust and I'm close to who's got a shark tank so they're gonna buy the two sharks from upstairs the uh, firemouth cichlid uh, the one died so I bought a, another one and the other, the surviving one killed it. So that Firemouth and the Rainbow Cichlid I've sold on. Uh, as I say, <laughs> there's been a lot of changes. Um, so yeah, and then there was another goldfish with it as well, which was bigger than all the other ones. So again, now I have seven goldfish in there. I managed to make a profit by selling that tank on. Uh, I've got 80 quid for the tank and the stand, heater and filter and light, which all came with it anyway. And then uh, the ornaments that came with it, I got an extra 20 quid for. So I'm not complaining there. I was quite chuffed. 
Uh, so I've made 70 quid profit, plus I've got all my fish still as well. So yeah, everything uh, is onwards and upwards so far. And now I'm on, I've just picked up a metal racking for my breeding tanks. And I've also got to go out later and well, it'll be done by the time, I'll have it by the time this video is done, but I'm getting another, another Fluval Roma 125, which is the same tank as the uh, axolotls are in it, but that one's coming with a load of Malawi fish. So now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with them as well. So yeah, basically, yeah, just to try and make a bit of money to fund the fish hobby, my latest thing is I like to try and get some tanks either free or for cheap, uh, try and clean them up, fix them on, uh, fix them up, sell them on, make a profit and just keep doing that. That's how I manage to buy the fish that I like, the tanks that I want, the equipment that I need and uh, I always make sure that when I'm selling the fish, obviously I make sure I know they're going to a good home. For example, there was one person that wanted to buy my uh, fire mail for my rainbow cichlid and they also wanted me to provide them with a little goldfish bowl, the little plastic ones, and that's what they were going to keep them in. Said, nah, not happening. I says, have you even got a tank? They says, no. I says, we're well, not having my fish. I says, I'm not in a rush to get rid of them and I'd like to make sure that they go into a nice home with a decent sized tank, not a bloody bowl. So uh, needless to say, she wasn't very happy, but at least I was, and I know that my fish are now happy with where they are in a decent sized tank. Um, but yeah, so also, even though I haven't been able to update videos for you and keep you all up to date, we are now over 90 subscribers, which is fantastic. And I have been keeping up to date as much as I can on my Instagram, which is again Chris the Fish 03, and on my Facebook, which is Chris O'Reilly, also known as Chris the Fish 03. Um, you can always add me as friends on there, you'll get updates on there. I've figured out how to link that Facebook rather than my private one to my Instagram. So now, whenever I post on Instagram, it'll automatically post on that Facebook as well. So slowly but surely I am getting there, I'm figuring it all out. I know we've still got a long way to go and I just thought, I know I'm driving. I haven't done a driving video before, it's not exactly the easiest to do, but uh, it's the best chance I've had to keep having a quiet, peace and quiet away from the missus and the kids and be able to update you all on what's been going on. Um, so yeah, again, don't forget if you can do me that one favour just like subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll get a notification when I do post a video and I am going to start trying to do it where I can post a video weekly rather than just an abundance of random videos on random days so I'm just going to figure out what day is best to post a video but yeah any ideas any comments any thoughts any advice please don't hesitate comment boxes underneath drop me a message and i'll always reply to every message i can get especially seems i'm only under 100 subs so but yeah uh, i'll add a bit more onto this video when i'm at home and i can get some more footage of the tanks 